Oh shit, motherfucker, goddamn, kicking bitches out the condo. You know the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, you're back uh, with your boy, Boss P. This is another episode of Who's the Boss, or as I like to say, Who's the fucking Boss, yo? And today, we talking about disrespect. Yep, a lot of disrespect going on in hip-hop right now. Um, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not heard, over the weekend, NBA Youngboy dropped a mixtape. And on that mixtape is a song entitled No Switch. And uh, what has everybody up in an uproar is one particular line. Now, in this line, uh, NBA Youngboy does not mention uh, any name specifically besides uh, somebody from his team, but we all know who he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? The line is, you don't want to see Lil Tim hopping out that truck. Now, for those who are uninitiated, y'all not going to know what the fuck NBA Youngboy talking about. But for those of you who do know what's going on, you know exactly what the fuck he's referencing. He is talking about the murder of King Vaughn, Oblock's very own, at the hands of Lil Tim. Lil Tim is a part of 4TK. He is uh, Quando Rondo's goon, who is also part of uh, 4TK. And uh, the incident in question went down... uh, on a night in ATL at a hookah lounge. Now, at this hookah lounge, King Vaughn and his goons got into it with 40K, Quando Rondo and them. And um, uh, what happened was the beef got so real that it spilled outside, and that's where the surveillance video actually begins. And in a surveillance video, you can see King Vaughn actually throwing their hands with somebody from the other side. What he did not expect is for somebody from the other side, namely Lil Tim, to hop out the truck and start throwing those motherfucking shells. Now, when those uh, when those shells started flying and bullets started flying, the first thing you're going to see is bodies drop. The second thing you're going to see are those bodies trying to crawl away. And the third thing you're going to see, unbelievably, is guys from the other side jumping the motherfuckers on the ground who just got shot the fuck up. One of them being King Vaughn. Now, after this whole shit goes down, everybody leaves the scene, of course, because don't nobody want to go to jail. Um, uh, King Vaughn's goons, they carry him to the hospital where he is later pronounced dead, unfortunately. And this all happened at the hands of Lil Tim. And um, uh, as a result of this, Quando Rondo's been getting death threats like a motherfucker. But he's like, I'm a goon. I do goonish things. Bring it on. I don't give a fuck. And um, uh, Lil Tim... Um, a little Tim, unfortunately, the man is 22 years old, he's locked up, and he's most likely going to die in prison. Now, why did NBA Youngboy do this? Why is he taunting King Vaughn, who is no longer with us? I mean, that's the question. That's the question. Um, uh, Lil Dirk, who was uh, King Vaughn's homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, King Vaughn was actually signed to Lil Dirk. Um, Lil Dirk has already responded. He tweeted... Why you claiming that shit if you did not actually do it? And what he means by this is you ain't pull the trigger. Why the fuck you hyping that shit up like you did? You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, this is going to ignite a lot of beef. A lot of beef between um, Lil Durk and O Block and NBA Youngboy and 4TK. Uh, I think a lot more bodies are going to drop, unfortunately, because if you know these guys track record, you know how they get down. They do not ask questions, then shoot. They shoot first, then ask questions later. Sometimes they don't even ask questions. They just go on a uh, social media and start talking about the killing. These motherfuckers is crazy. These is real live goons. Now, if I am little Dirk with the beef getting real and real about a moment, I am staying the fuck out of ATL. If I want to go down south to hang out, I am getting in a plane and I'm flying over ATL and going straight to South Florida. Miami is always popping. If I am NBA young boy, if I have any shows in Chicago, I am not going to them shits. I am canceling them shits and I'm going to L.A. instead because shit is about to get really motherfucking real. And what um, people need to realize is that yo beef travels. Be fucking travels. So it really don't matter where you are. O Block is going to come try to find you. It don't matter where you are. 40K is going to come try to find you. That's how ops do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Uh, rest in peace to King Vaughn. It's a shame homeboy had to lose his life. I wish that these young brothers would learn from uh, what happened in the past. 
uh, because obviously more people are going to die, unfortunately, which is something that we do not want in hip hop whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? But the song No Switch, if you ain't heard it yet, go listen to it, man. Go listen to it. It's a lot of it's not the most lyrically sophisticated song. It's not going to blow you away, but it's just typical drill music. I'll kill you. I'll shoot you. I'll shoot everybody in the motherfucking face. That's basically what uh, NBA Youngboy is talking about you know, on, on a song. But yeah, man, um, shit is about to get really, really real. We're going to hear a lot about O Block and 4TK going at it in the very near future, unfortunately. Um, uh, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Um, it's your boy, Boss P. Uh, it's been nice rocking with y'all. Um, uh, until we meet again, please be safe. Watch your back and wear a condom to catch what comes out your nutsack. It's your boy, Boss P, and I'm out.